um, experimenting with some um, different recipes with my cooking blender. So today I am going to make a blackberry cashew smoothie bowl. And to do this, it says it's just gonna take two minutes prep time and three minutes total time. So um, it says I can use three quarters cup of any kind of milk. So I'm gonna use some almond milk. And so I need three fourths of a cup. It always tells you to put everything in in the order in which is in the recipe. So you can't just say, oh, I want to do this first or this first or this. You've got to do it in the order in which it tells you. So, uh, because I always like to do what I want to do first. But anyway, uh, okay, a quarter cup of the yogurt. So I am going to get my yogurt going. And I really should have gotten a measure all cup out to do this yogurt that I didn't so we're just gonna do it with what I got our measure all cups are great for like peanut butter cream cheese shortening would have been great for this so you can get every drop of it out because um, you just put it in there and it has a little plunger and you just push it and you get every bit of the goodness out okay then it says a quarter cup of cashews so I'm going to just get my cashews in there the great thing is this cooking blender cooks things it pulverizes it um the hobby I made some tomato soup the other night with uh, the skin still on the tomatoes and the onions and kitten I mean it was just silky smooth a frozen banana and um I get Schwann's strawberries and bananas. So I just guessed it what a full banana would be. And then a cup of fresh blackberries. Okay, so I uh, did not bring over a, a fresh, a clean cup. So I'm just gonna use this cup. So I'm going to get me a cup of blackberries and I'm just going to see about this whole little thing I got. So I think it's we're safe to just put it all in. Yep. So my blackberries are going to go in. And then it says a half a cup of blueberries. Made up blueberry crumble the other day and in the air fryer and that was really good so we're gonna do a fourth a cup of my blueberries so we're just gonna use that to do that with the good thing is you can put whatever you want in these and you can measure it however if you like more blueberries you can do that okay and then we're going to put our lid on. And of course, I'm doing this backwards. Oh, but turn it on. Okay, so I've done that. So I'm gonna come around so I can see it. Uh, and then it says to put this on um, smoothie. And it's on smoothie right now. And so it says one minute. So I'm gonna press my wheel to start it and
just take this and then you can take your lid off and pour it in the bowl. Look at this. Look at We have a bowl of wonderful. Let's see if I got my scraper here. Of yumminess coming out. You can then top this with, which I'm going to with some cashews. You can top this with some more blackberries. You can top it with some blueberries. You can top it with fresh bananas or uh, just some cashews to give it some crunchiness. And there you have it. I think I'll give him, I don't have any blackberries left, so I'll just put a few blueberries on the top. Uh, so he has those two. And then I'm gonna come around and show you that. And I think I will cut up a little bit of a banana real quick. So hang tight. Ooh, I could have used my quick slice to cut my banana, but since I'm just gonna do it real quick, I'll just do this and he will be home in just a minute, my husband, and he will have him a nice, cool, wonderful just snack. And that is what it looks like. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can tilt the phone down. And that's what my cooking blender did. Now, the good thing is, it wasn't a lot of mess for me, and I can go put that, add some water to it, put it back on the stand, and it's gonna clean itself. So, I'm not out of a lot of mess. I just have to wash my knife off and a couple of measuring things I did, and that's it. So, uh, if you don't have a cooking blender, then you need to get one for yourself and make some great smoothies and smoothie bowls and soups and sauces and jellies and uh, have it in your kitchen today.